Raw is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's so good actually that I'm not going to disrespect it by calling it a movie. Raw is a film from 2016 and I watched it around 2019. I found out about the movie through watching disturbing breakdowns on YouTube. And I watched a video on Raw and I watched it all the way to the end. So essentially, before even watching the movie, all of it was spoiled to me. I knew exactly what was gonna happen, everything that was disturbing about it. But despite this, I was so fascinated by what I heard in the video, what was described to me, that I went out and found it and ended up watching it twice, back to back the same day. Despite everything being spoiled to me, despite me knowing everything that's gonna happen, it still shocked me, it still surprised me somehow. And that's because Raw is, in my mind, one of those few movies that just manages. No, there I went again. Raw is one of those few films that just somehow manages to do everything that it sets out to do perfectly. And it's really hard to pinpoint anything in the film that could be done differently or done better. It's just, the concept is just perfectly done. This is even crazier. This was the first real movie by the director, Julia Ducano. Before making Raw, she had made a short film called Junior and then a TV film called Mensch, which I haven't seen. But Raw was essentially her first future film. And you really couldn't tell that when you watch it, because everything is just perfect. When I looked up her IMDb, I was really shocked to see that it, all she had done was a short film and a, and a straight to TV film. Raw is about the young Justine as she is about to start her first year at veterinary school in France. This is the same school that her parents went to and the school that her big sister Alex is currently going to. Her first day at school is basically just one big, really weird, really French ritual. It all starts out with a really big party, basically an orgy, and the following day, all the new students are forced to eat raw animal organs, ha ha, raw, ha, and then take a shot. The problem is, Justine is vegetarian, and so is her entire family. But Alex convinces her to eat it anyways, because she doesn't want her to stand out, especially not in her first year of school. And so despite her best wishes, Justine swallows the meat whole and almost immediately throws up. And this is in my opinion the most important moment in the entire film because this is the one that starts everything. From this moment onwards, Justine starts experiencing rashes around her body and an inhuman craving for meat. Justine finds out that she's a cannibal. A lot of uncultured people have categorized Raw as one of those disturbing films. And you know the ones, those films that only stand on their feet because they're shocking, they're gross, and they're disgusting. And you can kind of get why when you look at the original marketing for the film. It was marketed as making people leave the theater, faint, throw up, be shocked. Essentially, it was just a gore fest, if you believed only the marketing. And that's the biggest reason why a lot of people started watching it, is because they heard about the original marketing and they wanted to check it out for themselves. But once they watch the film, they learn that there is so much substance, there is so much to dive into, but it's not overwhelming in the slightest. Raw is so great because it's so complex, but unlike a lot of complex movies, it doesn't give you a headache watching it. It's very digestible. And it's not one of those movies where you have to read behind the lines in order to garner any enjoyment from it. You can watch Raw in the literal sense, take it for what you see, not try and look for any subtext or hidden themes, and it's still a great movie. But once you try and do the other things, once you start looking behind the facade of the movie, look for clues, hidden details, it becomes something amazing. And there are so many different interpretations of Raw and its hidden themes and messages. And I'll bring up my own later on. The performances in this film are just astounding. Garance Marie as Justine is perfect casting. She worked with Julia Ducano on her previous two projects. And this, just like Julia, is her first proper film. And she just nails the performance so well. She really captures the insecurity, the anxiousness, and at times also the inhuman nature within Justine. 
There is a scene in the film that I love so much. It's at a party and the camera is slowly zooming in on Justine as she sits in the back looking like an absolute fucked up little ghoul. Ella Rumpf as Justine's sister Alex is also really great. And their characters interactions in the film are some of the best. Because even if you weren't told that the characters were sisters, you could still clearly see it just by watching them interact. Their interactions are also just even more interesting because both characters are really polar opposites. Justine is insecure and anxious while Alex is almost all grown up and secure in her own person. Or at least that's how she appears. Films are a visual medium and therefore presentation is key. Raw constructs a world that is beautiful but unsettling at the same time. It, all, it always feels like there is something wrong, that there is something underneath the surface. And for a number of scenes it doesn't even look like a world. It doesn't look like a real place. It looks like a nightmare. And a lot of this is thanks to the amazing color scheme of the movie. I don't know how to describe the soundtrack because I don't know how to describe music. But what I can say about the soundtrack is that it emotionally guides you through the film. Very well. And the main theme slaps incredibly hard and is very gothic. It sounds like something you will hear in a cathedral late at night after a vampire just jumped out from the shadows. There's not so much more that I can say about Raw that doesn't go into spoilers. And the best way to watch Raw is to watch it as raw as possible. So please go out and watch it now. Did they leave? Are they gone? Oh, well, I guess I better talk about my film theory. My theory is that Raw is about family addiction, represented through cannibalism. But think about this, replace cannibalism with any drug, for example, alcohol. Would the film really be that different? And I choose alcohol because that's what I base my theory on, that it's not just family addiction, but alcohol addiction. Justine has lived her entire life as a vegetarian with her parents and has been shielded from anything meat related because of her mother's addiction, because her mother is a cannibal and she can't control it, which her father shows her at the end of the film through all of his scars. But once she gets left at the school, she's on her own and she no longer has her parents to shield her from the world. And being a veterinary school, there's plenty of meat Though it's not a slaughterhouse, there's animals everywhere, dead animals, and meat they have to dissect. And then there's the rituals where they're forced to eat raw organs. And this of course unleashes her cannibalism or addiction. An addiction that has been present in her sister Alex from birth early on. And that ever since Alex left for school has taken a complete hold of her at the point where she can't stop. Now let's switch meat with alcohol. Justine has lived her entire life away from alcohol with her parents because of her mother's addiction. An addiction that has hurt her father through many years but that he has learned to live with and that they have somehow learned to control. But once she gets sent off to school, an environment full of young people like Justine, who unlike her, like to party and like alcohol. And this unleashes Justine's addiction, her family addiction from her mother. And her sister Alex? who has been at this school for longer than her, is already engulfed in it and has been for most of her life. But this is just a theory, a film theory. And there are many like it. No, actually not many like it. There are many different ones, I mean. And I highly recommend going out and checking them all out for yourselves and maybe rewatching the movie and trying to watch it in a different way. See if you notice something. Because there's definitely a lot of themes of coming of age, sexuality, growing up, college, addiction, like I said. Also cannibalism, I found. And French society, maybe, I don't know, maybe I should watch it again, just cause. But I think we can all agree, this is a pretty damn good film. So good that you can't call it a movie. Thanks for listening.